I had to fill their gas tank. Now you tell me, am I a jerk still? Am I a jerk for filling their gas tank? Okay. If you're, are you paying for his gas tank? I paid $13. What's going on? What's happening today? What is new? <laughs> <laughs> What's new? Well, I, I've got a question. Okay. I've got a question. <laughs> now, when do you fill the gas tank? Do you, when do you fill your gasoline what? tank in your car? Do you, are you a guy that fills it 25% down, halfway down? 25% left or what or even when it's almost hitting E or even at E okay okay I would say for me I fill it at about halfway through but I have been known to even at a quarter of a tank fill it up because I just happen to be at Costco ah! <laughs> <laughs> I figure if I'm already there I might as well fill it up yeah yeah <laughs> might oh, as well. man this is tough so yeah. But typically, mm -hmm. if not, I would do it at about the halfway point. Oh, you're halfway guy? So you're predominantly yeah. halfway guy. Yeah. Okay. Most often. Okay, yeah. you're 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 Mr. Halfway. Okay. <laughs> I I'm gonna I'm gonna say right now, currently, I'm I'm a variable guy. Okay. okay. Mine mine varies, but we'll we'll get into that later. I'm more <laughs> When I first when I first started driving in my teens, uh -huh. I was a halfway guy. Okay. Okay. Mostly halfway, but I'd go if it was only down by twenty five percent. If I if I was seventy five percent full, and I didn't have anything better to do, if I was driving that day, I'll still fill it up. Okay. Okay, but mind you, gas was like a dollar something, a dollar plus, right? Right. right. A dollar mm -hmm. to one ninety nine, whatever range it was, it was it was really reasonable in the nineties. Right. So. Anyway, but as I evolved, I'm gonna say, when did I start being variable? Probably. The last, last eight years or so, or maybe last five years, I was a variable guy. But okay. how how low would you let it go? To absolutely like, okay, I better get something. The light bulb. I make it to the light bulb, Russ. <laughs> I make it to where that yellow light says, you know, it says, uh, you know, you, you got three risky. gallons left. <laughs> but remember, my car goes 17 miles to the gallon. So that's, yeah, you know, that's what, 50 miles? At least 50 miles? Okay. All right. So you calculate based on whatever the math is. I don't gallon. know the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> it could be wrong. Well, I, I get pretty decent gas mileage. Mm -hmm. um, when I switch from one car to this, the current car that I'm, I'm running, I probably get about 28 miles per gallon in the city. And I've been known to get my car as high as 44 miles per gallon on the highway. Wait, <laughs> wait. If wait, I don't wait. do anything but just continuous highway driving, wait, I wait, but that's 44. That's based on what the car tells you, right? That's That's what the car tells you. That's, yeah, that's based on what the odometer thing tells me and the, its own built-in computer telling me. Yes. Yeah. Which, they are liars. You know that, Russ. Yeah, yeah. Robots are <laughs> liars. Are quite right. <laughs> yeah, if you calculate it, it could be different. <laughs> These guys are they're liars. I mean, we're, 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 we're not idiots. We can calculate this thing. You can figure yeah. if you have like a 14-gallon tank and then you refill it and, and you know that you max out the refill to the full amount of the tank, then you know how many gallons you use. Divide that, yada, yada, yada. It's all, well, yeah. whatever. It's an Asian thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't always match what they tell you. It is. No, yeah, it's, look, we, so. we, we can talk about this later on how to calculate it. That's its own video, <laughs> but they do lie, right? You know? Sometimes they do, yes. Yeah. Sometimes it's terrible. They do. It's terrible. I don't know how it calculates, but yeah, sometimes it's off. I, I think it's off. It may not be. I don't know, but I, I think it is. <laughs> you know, Russ, let, let let me tell you this. Back 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 on the topic, okay? Okay. Back All back right. on the topic on what type of filler we are, okay? I've okay. I've learned maybe 
you know, you you can tell a person's personality by you know how how much they abide by when they fill. Okay, conservative. That's how people, nervous you are, actually? Yeah, yeah. Conservative people <laughs> they fill halfway. Okay, it's yeah. it, it, it's a it's a discipline. You know, it's a discipline that they do. They're they're pretty responsible and stuff like that. Okay, mm-hmm. but I know a person constantly. Okay, <laughs> I know a person. Who drives while it is on the blink, you know, while it's on the empty with the light on That's and risky. still continue to drive <laughs> to go to separate places and not fill up. I've, I, you know, I know this person yeah. and I had to fill their gas tank. Okay. I had to fill their <laughs> gas tank. Now you tell me, am I a jerk still? Am I a jerk for filling their gas tank? Okay. You're. Are you paying for his gas now? I paid $13. <laughs> $13. And you know, I don't know about you. You know, my, well, my you gas tank's about... Pardon? Were you driving his car? I was driving... I was driving their car. Man, I, I don't know. I don't know what the heck I was doing. Maybe they drove on the way and on the way home. I was driving back. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The trip was only 12 miles, and mind you, it's city miles. So 12 miles is across Chicago, okay? 12 miles is across Chicago, and at three minutes, three minutes a mile, that's 36 minutes. So more than a half hour of driving can only get you 12 miles in Chicago. Well, we're just calculating, guys. (laughs) Okay, because if you don't live in Chicago, you live somewhere else where you average 50 miles an hour, (laughs) half an hour is 30, 40 miles or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, depends where you are. Depends where you are. How much, yeah. Yeah, how much stop and go you're doing. Yeah. So So there, filled up the gas tank. And and mind you, this person who leaves it all the way to the end and still has places to go, not only are they irresponsible, their whole personality, (laughs) you know, everything is just disorganized, okay? (laughs) At least for me, since I'm variable, at least for me, it's based on I know how much I need for when I go to work since I only work three days a week, okay? So right. I know how much gas that uses. So as long as I'm full by the start of my week, my work week, I'm good for the week. Yeah. So whatever it is, I'll fill it up. Or like you said, Costco, Costco's a variable, you know? Yeah. If I'm there, I might as well get it. That's how right. I feel about it. Right, right. I mean, I'm not going to make a special trip. Just because, okay, well, I've got another day. I'll come back. I'm not going to do that. Right. You uh, know I'm what? I'm going to do it right there and then. Will you fill it up if you're 95% full? No. 90%. No what about 90? Would you go at 90? No. Okay. But 80 no. for sure. It's, it's got to be at least uh, maybe at least a quarter of a tank down before okay. I even consider. Okay. The only time I will top it off, all right, if I know I'm going to go on a long trip. Let's say I'm say I, I'm going to go to Wisconsin. I'm going to be driving a couple hundred miles. Mm-hmm. And maybe I'm down a gallon or two i might actually top it off at that point yeah just to make yeah, sure yeah i can get there but i agree otherwise no I, I don't no i don't see the need i agree i mean there's gas stations all along wherever you go it's right, not like right, you're right. gonna run out of gas stations but a long trip yeah I'll, I'll do it just so i can say okay let me see how many miles it drove and how my mileage was so i'll top it off and start fresh mm-hmm. that's the only time yeah okay so. My yeah, my wife is the same way. She she'll she'll make sure that it's not less than half of a tank, just to be less safe. than half. Well, <laughs> okay, I know we're not supposed to be talking about, you know, <laughs> certain. Okay, we'll just say my wife is variable, but on on the terrible side. Okay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where you know when you really need the gas, you know you're gonna go out, you planned, and you still have no gas. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we don't run into yeah. that. Yeah, so and much, mind but. you, that wasn't the person I was talking about previously. Okay? <laughs> it wasn't. Yeah, well, that would have been rule number one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but <laughs> but you did. know what? That means I'm rolling out, Ross. I got to roll out, okay? <laughs> Let me... I'm rolling out. <laughs> He's got to go get some gas. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyways, if you guys like the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell icon so you can see when new stuff comes out from us. We'll talk to you guys next time.